Yo, what's up guys, the last few videos in Up Your Artifact game. This is going to be a more practical one going over units by element, talking about which artifacts would I put on which unit for RTA. It does also kind of translate towards Siege, but Siege is a little bit more different. Um, I'm going to use the same intro for all of the elements. So the thing I want to uh, talk about, a uh, few things, if I mention it, I might have already talked about it in another video, I'm not completely going to repeat it, so maybe you have some questions afterwards, like, oh, why would you use this or that, or how does it work? Check the other videos, they're down in the description as well. Also, if I just call out, or anything high efficient, which I might do pretty often, that means that multiple lines are useful for that unit with high efficiency. So, just having, like, for example, super high crit damage skill 3 on the unit might not be the best because you can also have some damage from good damage from bad or like crit damage from good crit damage from bad single target crit damage those kind of things so keep that in mind either how this one is fire let's dive into the video also if i go over any unit or if i miss any of the units and you're like oh how about rakan i'm like yeah sorry no one uses rakan in rta and if you do you should stop doing that so i'm just going over the units that are actually used in rta and if your unit is missing then you probably should stop using the unit because it's not that great sure in lower ranks it can totally work everything can work in lower ranks but i'm talking like end game stuff so let's start with Coco. Coco is not really used in RTA that much besides for fun and one shotting and that kind of stuff. But it's kind of like I got this high feeling of like a solar beam from like Pokemon in all days that you skip one turn to do extra damage. But if you would say artifacts, I would say probably crit damage as two as three. But I would actually go for attack increasing effect on both sides. Maybe some reduction from water. Also, if I call out right side, right side is the type, left side is always the element. Tomo, Tomo, you should not be using. Carnal, Carnal is used a lot and I would say maxes accuracy by runes. Don't put artifacts of accuracy on Carnal because Carnal needs three skills of accuracy. So that's more explained in the accuracy video. So I would go high in additional damage, mainly on speed and on HP. So don't go purely on speed because you probably run this thing on high HP as well. And don't go purely on HP because you probably have a lot of speed on this unit as well. So kind of a combination of the two, whatever is like highest efficient. Also write out your additional damage. Um, this is Ken. So Ken, I would probably say Aki S2 is pretty good because you don't necessarily need your Aki S3 and Aki S1. So therefore you can fix it with Aki S2. Um, and additional damage lines. You could also go um, additional crit damage kind of things, but then you would have to look which one fits best, but it's it's somewhere with these three lines. Douglas, Douglas, you can put counter. Counter is pretty good on the right side, left side. You could potentially, this is one of those few units you could say like, okay, I mainly draft this into like winds or other fires and then you do additional damage on wind or additional damage on fire so probably additional damage on wind is not that bad on this unit um, otherwise you could go like crit damage as one crit damage as two single target crit damage those kind of jogan jogan is an interesting one you could go aki as two as three but you also kind of want aki as one so i kind of recommend aki to be fixed within the runes itself and in this case, I would go speed increasing effect. So speed increasing effects actually gives you a higher speed buff and therefore your scroll lasts longer. So you could try to make him do damage. It is a little bit difficult. So I wouldn't necessarily go like crit damage or additional attack kind of things on him. But I would add like a lot of like speed increasing effect. Therefore your scroll um, is based on more speed and therefore you also the unit will stay in the scroll state for a longer time. Marsha, Marsha is one of those units. Um, Aki S2 is really good. Single target crit damage. Um, some people go for additional damage by attack or additional damage or speed. Those don't add up too much. I would just go high crit rate on this unit, go for crit damage, make sure like 90-ish crit rate, and then the Aki S2 is also pretty good. You could make Marsha into your uh, wind or fire killer 
and then add some additional damage for that as well. Balanus. Balanus, I would probably say Aki S2, Aki S3, because mostly in the stats you don't put too high Aki on this unit. And then probably some reduction stats, because it's more important that you land your stuff, and he probably does a lot of damage anyhow. So I would go for that. Orphelia is not really used in RTA. Was used back in the day, but don't really recommend it anyhow. Elena is not really used in RTA. You do see it here and there, but I would go like purely crit damage S2. And then, hmm, besides that, I'm not sure. Maybe some Aki S2, Aki S1, those kind of things. Daphnis is not really used that much anymore, but I would go Aki S3 on this one. Like pretty high Aki S3. And then probably some additional damage on, well, whatever you use this for to one shot but it's not that great of a unit so wind light fire anything like that segment also not that much used in rta i would probably go additional damage um, artifacts so probably from speed maybe from so, some from hp because you have a multi-hit on your s2 you could go for aki s3 but you kind of want to have max aki because all three skills are aki once again Okeanos, um, simply additional damage by speed, attack and HP, combination of those, anything that's high efficient and again write out which one would be the highest stats if you don't know what I mean but like write it out, check out the additional damage video. Tessarion, uh, Tessarion is not that much used but if I would use it probably single target crit damage kind of things. Maybe even put him like a slot for crit rate and then single target crit damage. You could go Aki S3 for the Oblivion, Aki S2 for the armor break. Those are options, but I think I feel more for like adding more crit damage to this guy. Brandia, probably you add more crit damage on the third skill, but not really use that much of a unit. You could go S2 Aki, which is pretty decent if you would use this one. Well, you also kind of want to have S1 Eki, so I don't know. Chiwu, Chiwu um, is an interesting one. Most of the time, um, if Chiwu is used, you kind of want to like full CC a team. So I actually put a um, additional damage on fire and it was mainly on Juno. That's what I put on my Chiwu back in the days. And then just some more additional damage on whatever I could find. I was like high efficient to do more damage with Chiwu. That was mainly what I went for. Rocky, I would Rocky definitely go S2 Eki and then probably S3 crit damage and then on the left side uh, I would probably do additional damage from attack. Combination of those kind of things. Velajul, ooh, interesting one. I would highly recommend if you have him crit, I would probably build this one crit damage, um, like increasing the crit damage. If you don't have that much crit rate, I would even put a slot for crit rate. Something you could put if you still have those artifacts is speed on inability. That could be decent for Velajul as well, but it's not that great. Probably you just add like additional crit damage, those kind of things. Maybe you would put um, speed from low HP because then you could get a momentum where you could cleanse or something like that. But that's about it for Velajul. Meho Wang. Meho Wang is one of those units you kind of want to make him solo stuff. You probably want to go crit damage as one, as two. And on the other side, I would probably go reduction. Like, you probably draft Meho Wang into fire slash wind units, and if there's no water units, so you could go like damage reduction from. Uh, fire, additional damage on fire, additional damage on wind. Those. Laika, um, I would say most Laikas currently are either Vampire or Rage. I would add like really high recovery S1 and life drain for his S1 recovery. And then besides that, just add as much damage things as possible. And you could also go for like a high additional damage um, on element if you just draft it into like certain elements. Rika, Rika, I would probably go Aki S3 and some uh, additional damage artifacts. You could go on the left side some reduction from fire, water, those kind of things. But in most cases, Rika, the main damage just comes from hitting multiple times. She's already tanky, she should be 100% resist. So adding additional damage lines is mostly what's good on her. Juno, really simple, straight up additional damage lines from speed, HP. 
um, attack here and there is not that bad as well but probably mainly speed and some from HP you could also if it happens to happen that you put like crit damage as one or um, single target crit damage it's not bad but it's also not that great like the additional damage lines will just do a lot more you could if you have to if you happen to have it recovery s3 is actually pretty good on her as well vanessa vanessa is one of those units that has only one skill that has an accuracy check so go the maximum amount that you have on accuracy s2 and actually leave her at like zero accuracy and then if you have like 25 accuracy or 24 20 something like that from your um artifact that's really good and i would probably opt to do reduction from fire reduction from water on the left side uh, Kaki is a pretty interesting one um, in normal you expect him to have attack buff for like a cleave in this case not really so it's artifact of um, that doesn't work crit damage artifacts of course don't work so I would probably go additional damage artifacts or increase attack and defense and speed by lost HP this is one of the few units that would work on like the lost HP one and especially since he has pretty high base speed it would add quite some speed harmonia is used from time that or it was pretty fairly used so i would go uh aki as one for the sleep and pushback recovery as two as three and then probably reductions from water fire those kind of trevor you see trevor here and there as leo counter probably crit damage as two as one um maybe do additional damage on counter you have a very likelihood of having attack power so adding um attack increasing effect is also a big thing for him and probably you use him against water units only or uh sorry wind units only so therefore having him additional damage on wind is probably pretty good as well draco is used from time to time still the only thing i could think about is eki s2 and the rest is not that important. And Terrace. And Terrace is a pretty interesting one because you have the um, attack buff for itself. So attack increasing effect is pretty good. You have additional damage lines which are really good on the Terrace. Recovery S2 is really good. Also Eki S2 is really good because it's, if you don't have any accuracy on Antares, his uh, S2 is not going to uh, steal that much attack bar. So that's one that's really uh, helping. Recovery, life drain, additional damage. And probably you want to go for the baseline of defense or HP because those are like lower in his standard builds. Verde Hill. Verde Hill is pretty interesting as well. My Verde Hill is actually on speed for, uh, during inability effects. Speed on low HP is one option as well. You could go for some additional damage line from HP or speed. But besides that Vert, you could also go like crit damage S1, S2, those kind of things. But Vert is one of those units that doesn't benefit that much from artifacts, I would say. But you can have the baseline of HP, which helps him quite some. Clara. Clara is one of those units that I would recommend Eki to be fixed in accuracy of the unit itself. So because all three skills have Eki checks. And then probably just add additional damage lines from speed, from attack. And that's probably your way to go. Garo, mm, probably Eki S2, crit damage S1, S2, single target crit damage, those kind of things. Uh, maybe additional damage from low or like additional attack from low HP could also work pretty well on him. Ranuki, the one and only uh, recovery S2 and probably speed from low HP and like defense from low HP. Those those kind of lines is probably the only thing that's useful on him. Okay, and that was it for fire. So actually we went decently fast about 15 minute video. I'll go on to make the other videos and I'll probably post them like one per day and Hope you enjoyed. Also, if you disagree with some of them, leave it in the comments. I don't mind to have like a little bit of a discussion to maybe I'm wrong, maybe you're wrong, maybe we just get to new ideas like together, something like that. So feel free to put things in the in the comments if you think like it shouldn't be or it should be like this or that. Anything doesn't matter. So hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.